Welcome to Mac and PC Prime video, 6 ways to fix slow boot times in Windows 10. One of the most frustrating Windows issues is slow startup. Especially after a recent update number of users report, Windows 10 boot time and startup is extremely slow. Few others report the system stuck on a black screen with the loading animation dots for a long time. And this is mostly because you have installed too many apps. System files get corrupted, updates not installed correctly or you have installed an update bug. Here we have listed simple tweaks apply to dramatically cut your Windows 10 PC's boot time speed up the start time. Slow boot times can be extremely frustrating, if you're also fed up with your laptop's slow boot speed. Windows 10 take a long time to log in don't worry we've put together some easy and helpful methods that usually fix the problem. Method 1. Disable Startup Program When you install new programs, many will want to launch automatically when you start up your PC. Which means these programs, services load at startup and use unnecessary system resources. And stop programs loading at startup is the best way to boost your Windows 10 computer. Open Task Manager using keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus, Shift plus Escape. Here on Task Manager if this is the first time you've used this program you'll need to click the More Details option at the bottom of the window. Now you should see a list of all the programs running on your system. Move to the Startup tab, this will display all startup running apps list with startup impact. Simply right click on the application and select Disable, do the same with all startup applications. Method 2. Disable Fast Startup one of the most problematic settings that causes slow boot times in Windows 10 is the fast startup option. This is enabled by default and is supposed to reduce startup time by preloading some boot information before your PC shuts off. Note that while it applies to shutting down, restarting your computer isn't affected by this feature. While the name sounds promising, it causes issues for a lot of people. Thus, it's the first step you should try when you have slow boot problems. To disable it, open settings and browse to system greater than power and sleep. On the right side of this screen, click additional power settings to open the power options menu in the control panel. Here, click choose what the power buttons do on the left sidebar. You'll need to provide administrator permission to change the settings on this page. So click the text at the top of the screen that reads change settings that are currently unavailable. Now, untick turn on fast startup, recommended, followed by save changes to disable this setting. If you don't see fast startup here, you don't have hibernation enabled and thus it won't show up. To enable hibernation, open an administrator command prompt or PowerShell window. You can do this by right-clicking on the start button or hitting Win plus X and choosing command prompt, admin, or Windows PowerShell, admin. Type the following command power cfg, hibernate on, to enable hibernation, then try to disable fast startup again. Method 3. Turn off Linux Terminal Windows 10 offers a full Linux terminal in addition to the classic command prompt. This is exciting for developers, but it might also the culprit of your boot issues. This feature isn't turned on by default. So if you don't know what bash is, you probably don't need to try this step, as you would know if you had turned it on. To turn off the Linux shell, Type Windows Features into the Start menu to open the Turn Windows Features on or off menu. Scroll down to Windows Subsystem for Linux, uncheck it, and restart. If this fixes your slow boot issues but you still need the Bash interface, try the new Windows Terminal for another option. Method 4. Change Virtual Memory Settings Virtual memory is the name for a feature where Windows dedicates part of your storage drive as pretend RAM, this section is called the paging file. With more RAM, you can have more tasks running on your system at once. So if Windows is close to maxing out actual RAM, it dips into virtual memory. 
Some people have found that Windows 10 can change virtual memory settings on its own, causing boot issues. You should thus have a look at your virtual memory settings and see if you can change them to fix the slow boot problem. To do this, type performance into the start menu and choose the adjust the appearance and performance of windows. Under the advanced tab, you'll see the size of the paging file, click change to edit it. On the resulting window, what's important is at the bottom, you'll see a recommended amount of memory and a currently allocated number. Some users having this issue find that their current allocation is way over the recommended number. If yours looks off in the same way, uncheck automatically manage paging file size for all drives to make changes. Then choose custom size and set the initial size and maximum size to the recommended values below. Reboot and your boot times should improve. Method 5. Update your graphics card driver. If there are any old or corrupted drivers on your Windows 10 PC, this can cause your computer to boot slowly. You can update your device drivers to solve your problem. You can do this manually by downloading the latest drivers from your graphics card manufacturer's official website. You'll need to find exactly the correct driver, though. If you're not confident playing around with drivers manually, or if you want to save some time, you can use Driver Easy to do it automatically. 1. Download and install Driver Easy. 2. Run Driver Easy and click Scan Now button. Driver Easy will then scan your computer and detect any problem drivers. Your sound driver is no exception. 3. Click Update All to automatically download and install the correct version of all the drivers that are missing or out of date on your system. This requires the Pro version, you'll be prompted to upgrade when you click Update All. Note, you can do it for free if you like, but it's partly manual. 4. Reboot your Windows 10 computer and check to see if it boots quickly. Method 6. Windows Update Disable The Windows Update Service Windows Update is essentially just another Windows service and can be turned off in a similar manner to other services. Follow these steps to stop Windows 10 updates. Fire up the run command, win plus R. Type in services.msc and hit enter. Select the Windows Update service from the services list. Click on the general tab and change the startup type to disabled. Restart your machine. When you want to re-enable automatic updates you just follow the same procedure except you select automatic when choosing the startup type. 